This is what Ukraine's southern front looks like. Euronews was given footage of what troops here describe as daily victories, proof that Kyiv's war efforts are paying off. But the cost to local infrastructure has been high. This bridge used to lead to a Russian base further south and was destroyed two months ago. We're being escorted east into territory recently recaptured by Ukrainian soldiers, who say this area is safe for now. But on the way, we meet a family who has finally decided to leave. They hid us, our barn, our summer kitchen, and our garage. The hay caught on fire. My husband and I were injured, my knee. I was thrown some two meters. The basement was full of smoke. We couldn't be there. We don't have anything left. We only brought what we could take with us, and we're leaving. Don't go there. They are attacking. We don't go. No? I think... But we decide to move further to the next village, as Russian soldiers shell to the north and south of us. Hello. What's the situation like here today? Yes, they gave us something. It's over there by the shop. They hit there today. They hit this school, but I didn't see it. We get a glimpse of it. The leftover of a cluster bomb. The school is on the left side. Turn to the right. This is what is left of a Russian position. Can we go quick? What? Which has been shelled again. We can't go in. No, we go but, in, but, tell me, but it will be difficult. Are we doing this or no? Yes. We rush in to see what troops left behind. It's this day. This is from today? Yeah. Russian soldiers use this place as a base, now that the Ukrainian soldiers have recaptured this area, the other side keeps shelling in. Russian remnants suggest the military equipment at soldiers' disposal is ancient. And the site is struck again. We decide this is as far as we can go today. Da, da, da. Let's, let's go very fast. Start and go away. Annelise Borges from Ukraine's southern front for Euronews. Oh, yeah.